Hi, hello, Chan James. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be baking some sugar cookies. So, what are you waiting for? Let's get right into the video. So, first, it's telling me to whisk the flour. Like, I have a recipe right here, so I'm just changing it up a bit to fit my needs. So it says whisk the flour, baking powder, and salt together, which I'm not going to use a bunch of salt, so I'm going to go ahead and just sprinkle a little bit in. This is the flour. So two and a quarter cups of flour. So I have a quarter right here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do eight of those. One. Now I'm gonna close that back up. And the baking powder, which is right here. How much of that do I need? A half teaspoon right here. And there we go. Now just to whisk it together. Now it says to set aside. So I'm just gonna place it behind me. And now, so it says use three fourths cup of butter. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put the butter in to the and put that with that and then for the sugar putting some extra sugar into that cookie mix and now for the blender, I am going to go ahead and it says beat the butter and sugar together on high until smooth and creamy. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my extension cord and plug these in. I'm going to go ahead and... So now it's time to add the egg, vanilla, and almond extract. So the egg is also was called for to be at room temperature. Now time for the vanilla extract. I don't have vanilla extract. I have imitation vanilla flavor, which I hope is okay two teaspoons so where's the teaspoon that's a half that is one oh it's supposed to be then blame it on the extra machine and then a fourth or a half teaspoon of almond extract so I actually do have almond extract I didn't re I thought that we had vanilla extract but I guess we didn't my bad guess I should check before making these cookies but it is what it is and that's all of the wet ingredients and now to mix on low Time to mix the dry ingredients in. So I'm going to do it uh, slowly and then I shall be back. I went ahead and uh, finished using the hand mixer and I went to my little handy dandy whipping up something wicked spatula which I got from the dollar section along with these with the cookie cutters that I'm using today. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use some parchment paper. And I'm 
just sprinkle some flour on. I'm gonna go ahead and take half of the dough out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some flour on and just roll this out. So it says roll until the it's a fourth of an inch. Now to move to the next one, which I'll just boom and be right back with the second one finished and yeah. So I went ahead and actually did both of the pins and filed the rest of it until it had to be refrigerated. So now they're in the refrigerator for about an, they're gonna be in the refrigerator for about an hour and a half. And once they're chilled, I'm gonna take them back out and we shall start doing the, using the cookie cutters and cutting the cookies. And then once that's done, we will be using the icing. I have purple, orange, and green. So, I'll see you guys in about an hour and a half. So it's been an hour and a half, and I'm back. It says to uh, preheat the oven to 350, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So it just says remove the top dough piece first and then it says cutter cut the dough so I'm going to go ahead and use the my cookie cutters which is which are in the shape of witch hats and just pretty much cutting out and I forgot to get the roll the roller again. The roller to re-roll all of it and I will be done and I'll be back with all the cookies cut out and done with the dough. So since they the cookies are now cut out I used the big one and the smaller one so now it's time to put them into the oven that's now preheated for 11 to 12 minutes and I will back so the cookies are done they look so good I'm going to go ahead and just peel them off of their sheets that way it is easier to decorate so I'm only gonna be doing a couple decorating a couple of the cookies on camera and the rest off camera. And also leaving, I'm probably only gonna do like half of them, but oh, this bit, and leaving the other bit undecorated because why not? So I'm gonna go ahead and take the green icing, purple icing, and the orange icing. And I have my little knife uh, spatula right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and try to decorate the cookie. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do some of these ones green.
the last one on camera. And I'll be back with all with most of the cookies decorated. So all of the cookies are done. Not all of them are frosted, but all of the cookies are done. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to give a thumbs up in the section down below. Don't forget to comment down below any video ideas you want me to do. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. Bye guys, love you!